Hello ladies and gentlemen, Paul Flahan here with a long overdue review of the S6 Duro from Elago for the iPhone 6. As a disclaimer, I have been using this case for the last 8 weeks. The Duro case is a great combination of style and protection, and I don't see that very often, if at all, with phone cases. Most of the time, one has to settle with a slim, barely there beautiful case that doesn't provide great drop protection, or a bulky brick of a case that makes your device four times as thick. The S6 Duro has a hybrid design with a soft rubber that wraps around the phone which allows for shock absorption, and the second polycarbonate layer which lays flush with the soft rubber gives the device great rigidity when dropped. With this combination, the Duro only thickens the device to 11.5 millimeters from the device's already extremely slim 6.9 millimeters. So with this case, you won't feel like you're holding a brick in your hand. Looking around the device, we have a large opening in the upper left to toggle on and off the mute switch. And right below that, we have the volume up and down buttons which provide great tactile feedback. Pressing the buttons needs a little extra force, but I find that to be a great thing for a sturdy case to have. And the mute switch can also be accessed with uh, some skinny and fat fingers. Sometimes, uh, with other cases, this little cutout is too small to access like with your thumb. So I have no problem with my pointer finger or my thumb. Along the back is one oddity that I find with this case is its new landscape camera cutout which apparently prevents various phenomena from occurring such as reflected flash or ghosting. I for one haven't experienced reflected light or ghosting in other cases. I do find that this protruding camera cutout does give the device a slight angle for a slightly better viewing angle and typing surface while laying on a table in portrait view. The power button is on the right hand side of the device and provides the same solid feedback the volume buttons provided on the left hand side. At the bottom of the case you will find one large cutout for all ports, buttons, and speakers. You'll still have to keep in mind with any case that all third-party headphones and adapters may not work. I do like that Elago has made room for Apple's 30-pin adapter though, for those who do rely on the adapter to charge their device. Now to insert the device into the case, I recommend removing the polycarbonate shell from the rubber case first, because the shell does make the case extremely rigid, and then clip the shell back on once your device is inserted. Over these past two months, I have been enjoying this case due to the fact that it doesn't make my beautiful iPhone 6 look ugly or bulky while keeping it fully protected, which I'm sure is just what a lot of people want in a case. The case isn't perfect though. The landscape camera cutout is unique, but in my opinion kind of useless, and the polycarbonate shell gets that old Samsung Galaxy S3 hyperglaze greasy feeling at times. Overall, I would definitely recommend looking into this case for its beautiful combination of style and protection. I will have a link to this case in the description below. Thank you for watching. This is Paul Flaham with Paul's iOS device. I will see you in the next video. God bless.